Fellas, why has this weapon lost popularity inside of Destiny's meta? I don't get it because at one time, Vex Mythic Class was like one of the most used weapons in all of Crucible. Now, granted, there was a nerf that went out to it in update 3.4.0, essentially a reduction in aim assist stat by 25. They also reduced the linear fusion rifle mode aim assist cone scaler from 1.1 to 1.05, and it now requires three player kills for a full overcharge instead of two. Now, I know these nerfs sound pretty significant, especially the aim assist nerf, but I played on both controller and on mouse and keyboard, and I can tell you right now, Vect Mythic class still feels fantastic. That cone scaler right there, by the way, from 1.1 to 1.05 is hardly noticeable. Probably the most noticeable change out of everything here on this nerf list is really the three player kills for a full overcharge instead of two, which makes sense considering you can easily get three kills from being fully overcharged. You're only consuming two of those charges. So three kills, three normal kills will attack on three overcharge kills. What blows my mind though, is that everyone has stopped using Vex Mythic class. You go and you actually check out the meta on trials reports and Vex is not even in the conversation when this weapon absolutely still shreds. Now maybe it's its rarity. Its drop rate isn't the best there from Atheon. Maybe it's because its catalyst is also a struggle to get. But truly, truly guys, Vex Mythic class in this sandbox is very much worth the grind. Now exotic perk wise, this weapon does fire in full auto. It is a fusion rifle, but shoots primary ammo. It also has the ability to tack on stacks of overcharge, which essentially allows this weapon to turn into a linear fusion rifle. And linear fusion rifles, by the way, are some of the stupidest weapons to go against. You can be flinching an Arbalest user or a Lawrence Driver user, and they'll still dome you. Vex Mythic class is no different here. The only difference is that stickiness at range begins to dip off. Now the exotic catalyst comes with a perk called Calculated Balance, where it states that final blows with this weapon grant bonus damage, accuracy, and stability for a short duration. Now this is what really tacks on the lethality here when chaining kills with Vex Mythic class. That buff duration is really long, and not only is it really long, but it's a 20% increase in damage. Now the weapon starts off at hitting 36 damage per crit with an optimal time to kill value of 0.77. Now that time to kill actually drops dramatically with the exotic catalyst and that buff, essentially increasing our damage to 43 damage per crit and giving us a time to kill value of 0.62. But to even take this a step further, I think many of my fellow Titans have forgotten about the exotic path of burning steps. It grants you the exotic perk Firewalker, where solar final blows periodically grant you an escalating bonus to weapon damage. You're also harder to slow and freeze with stasis, and when you break out, you take no damage from doing so, creating a burst of solar energy around yourself. Now, this was the exotic to use when stasis was absolutely everywhere. And we mainly use the exotic as a defensive exotic. However, there's really not that many stasis users anymore, right? Like you have a couple here and there, but not to the level of what it was months ago. But when you combine Firewalker and that increase in damage, this actually throws us up to 51 damage per crit. Fellas, that is nasty. We're talking a time to kill there of 0.46 with Firewalker and Calculated Balance there on Vex Mythic class. Now, all of this would be for naught if Vex Mythic class wasn't good in its base form. And even though it does have a nerf there to its aim assist by 25 and a couple other changes there to the overcharge stacks, what you're left with is still an exotic that far outpaces many other weapons within its own archetype. Even though this is a fusion rifle, you can really look at it more as an auto rifle. And in comparison to other auto rifles, it surpasses them both in its function with its exotic perks and its lethality. That's what makes Vex so good. And it's still just as good. This is a classic example of like people reading patch notes and going, oh, this got nerfed. It must be garbage. And then people proceed to just gloss over Vex Mythic class thinking that the weapon is trash. What this really outlines is just how nasty Vex Mythic class was previously. Like no doubt, it was a tad bit overtuned. The fact that you were able to get full stacks of overcharge with just two kills and while it's in its linear fusion rifle form it's pretty much a guaranteed two three kills and it had a hundred aim assist previously so yeah it was a tad bit busted for sure what's crazy is i really can't tell that big of a difference from where it was to what it is now now enters my controller players now listen i don't play controller every single day but i still plugged it in and we still popped off with it both in its linear form and in its base form is there a difference between 100 aim assist and 75 no doubt and i would say my controller players probably feel that way more than mouse and keyboard players. But to jump up and say that Vex Mythic class is now unusable or trash, fellas, that's a tad bit unreasonable. I think what's contributing though to Vex Mythic class dropping out of the meta for some is a couple things. Number one, people read patch notes and they immediately think it's garbage. Number two, Deadman's Tail just got a buff, considering that's another exotic.
exotic, there's been a lot of players using DMT, especially here on PC. Number three, arguably the best special weapon in the game right now is Chaperone. Now, these are all good problems to have. Chaperone, Dead Man's Tail, other weapons that are mixed into the meta. I know there's a lot of you that love Ayas Luna. This is a good problem to have. And then to add to that, the fact that Vex Mythic class is as rare as it is, and most of the weapons that are the highest on the usage statistics there in Trials are from weapons that are a little easier to obtain, right? But if you look back to like Endless Veil vale, a month ago, or a little over a month ago, which was the map this past weekend, hell, Vex Mythic class was number four on that list. And now it's nowhere to even be seen. And the months before that, it always remained either number one or in the top five. Personally, guys, I find Vex Mythic class to still be incredibly nasty. Despite the nerfs you see here in front of you, this is still a weapon that can easily shred someone. 0.77 seconds, all the way down to 0.46, all the way up to 30 meters. So I don't know what more I can say, guys, other than Vex Mythic class is a thousand percent still meta. And if you are looking to get a little extra spice from Vex Mythic class, guys, really try out Path of Burning Steps, chain those solar based kills, neutral game abilities and supers included, and you'll be amazed how quickly you can shred guardians. My only suggestion when using Vex Mythic class, feel free to go outside of that optimal range. You'll be amazed. Even though Vex Mythic class has damage fall off, it's still able to tack on damage even at those extended ranges. And the other thing is just don't stop shooting. There's so many times with Vex Mythic class that I'll just sit there and just lay on the trigger. You've got 33 shots. You've got a lot of ammo there. And what a lot of people misjudge when peeking in and out of cover against you is they misjudge how many shots you have left. And they'll like repeat thinking you're on the tail end of the magazine and you surely are going to run out of ammo and you just continue to shred them. There's a lot of other shenanigans about Vex that makes it good. It's ability to just almost tag opponents behind cover. This was something back in D1 Vex really couldn't accomplish. It was not a good weapon to tag someone behind cover who send their head glitching against you. Vex Mythic class though in Destiny 2 has that ability to still hit crits, even against guardians that are head glitching against you, which is pretty incredible. So guys, try it out for yourselves. Give it a go. Is this a nerf? Yes. But is Vex Mythic class still a very good option inside of PvP? Absolutely. Just lean into Vex's strengths, chaining those kills. And as far as the best weapons to pair with Vex, that's what makes it so good. And that's its versatility. Sometimes I like to use Vex Mythic class with a sniper rifle. And then other times I'll run and gun with it using a shotgun. This is a weapon that can go in between those ranges. It can be your primary weapon or it can be your cleanup weapon. However, the moment you do get a kill, whether it is using it primarily or getting a cleanup kill with it, that's when you want to keep Vex Mythic class out. Just remember though, don't convert those stacks of overcharge to its linear form and then stow the weapon. You will lose your stacks. So guys, that is our review there for Vex Mythic class. Let me know in the comments below what you think of it. Is it performing the way you want it to? Or is there just too many other weapons right now that has your attention? Honestly, if that's the case, then that really is the way you want the meta to be. You want it to be diverse. You want to have difficulty figuring out what you want to use. And I'm not trying to influence the meta in any kind of way, but I do suggest giving Vex another go. Fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.